And so funny, the discussion uh, leading up to you coming out here is we were, you know, the little name key that comes across the bottom of the screen. We had you as actor, philanthropist, and former Olympian, but after our producer, Tamara Slobodjan, met you, she's like, it just doesn't fit. So, Al, can we key what we decided Howard should be? Extraordinary human exclamation point. We love it. Welcome to BT. It's good to be here, absolutely. It is good to have you here, particularly because of the topic we want to kick off with, which is organ donation. Organ donor awareness, absolutely. Uh, my, actually, one of my friends, uh, Margaret Benson, she heads up the uh, BC chapter for the Canadian Transplant Association. She does a great job. She does a fantastic job. But any opportunity I have to help her and just try to bring awareness to that, I'm, I'm just all over it because uh, it's very important. And wh why is it very important? Well, it's important to me because uh, previously it wasn't that important to me, but having had a liver transplant uh, two and three quarter years ago, um, yeah, um, liver transplant saved my life. So now, did you get a living donor? Uh, no, mine no. was deceased. Yes. Yeah. And so, let's talk about the program we were talking uh, off camera. How frustrating it is that it used to be just as simple as when you're getting your driver's license renewed, you get the sticker, you put it on there, boom, you're an organ donor. Right. It used to be. It used to be that. It used to be that. I mean. I mean, if it were me, I'm not in government, but I see the opt-out program would be the, probably the best. So you're in unless you say you're out. Otherwise, uh, you know, it used to be on the driver's license. Now it's uh, now you have to sign the registry or go online and get Which on the registry. Which is a pain in the butt because I be. did that and I'm like, really, I need that information? Yeah. Really? It, it can be. So I mean, you're just trying to you're trying to you're trying to make it simple. I mean, when you when they start flashing the statistics about the people that die waiting for a transplant. Mm. I mean, I had my, I had to have my transplant in the U.S. Um, um, really? Went bankrupt doing it. I was gonna uh, say oh, how much did that cost you? Yeah, it went bankrupt. Uh, uh, you know, penniless oh. at that point in time, but hey, you know, uh, I'm alive. And, You're uh, alive and apparently having a fairly good time hanging out with the likes of David Foster. Let's get to that. Yeah, that was, uh, yeah, that was, that was, uh, that was great. Uh, <laughs> Look at your smile. <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, yeah, that was interesting. Oh, um, but, oh yeah, love it. Inspired. He loved to yeah, sing. Yeah, David. Uh, yeah, David. Uh, yeah, it takes over the piano, and uh, it was great. So who do you want to work with next in the uh, music business? Uh, Sarah McLaughlin, I hope you're, if, if she's watching Look right Breakfast. right in there. If, she, Sarah, if you're watching Breakfast Television, I have some great songs that would be perfect for you. We can a little co-write. Um, so, uh, yeah. Sarah, Sarah yeah. call me. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. And uh, you're also working on a film project. I am. Uh, I'm trying to, uh, I'm in the process of uh, writing and uh, Painstakingly, um, a film, and so I'm uh, actively looking for a producer, director for that. But uh, it's going to be entitled The Miracle Man, and uh, it's about somebody we know you know, surviving a liver transplant and perhaps an extraordinary human. Uh, some some guy. Some know. actor, philanthropist, former Olympian. <laughs> Howard Dell. Uh, I loved when I was reading all about you and, and checking out your bio. Um, oh God, I'm seriously, you've been a topic of conversation for days because there's so much that you're doing. I love this. Talk about your book because you're into nutrition in a big way. Clearly, a very fit man. Eating left because right didn't work might be the smartest ever nutritional yeah, title. Yeah, that's. Uh, I, I don't even know where to start with that. What uh, is eating left? Um, well, there's the. Uh, Eating left is sort of like remember as we grew. Remember growing up, you know, margin was okay, and right. you know, etc. Like sort of all those old wives' tales. And then, mm. of course, you know, as time went on, it would be like, you know, it's not okay. That's chemicals. That, you know, etc. Fat-free sour cream so, is not good for you. It's it's not sour cream. So all the things that uh, you know that I grew up with, and uh, you know, those kind of things. I sort of dispel. I'm, I'm talking about dispelling those kind of rumors, and and uh, you know, not eating because apparently that was eating right. And right. Because so, you didn't want butter. There's fat in butter. You want to eat the trans fat filled, exactly. hydrogenated, blah blah blah. So well, you know, I, I I concentrate on saying, and we're eating left. So I and, like it. So it's interesting. I like it. Yeah. Well, thank you for coming by and if uh, we're talking about random acts of kindness today throughout the entire show because there's been so much destruction earthquakes storms um, sadness we just right. wanted to talk about random acts of kindness what is one that you, comes to mind for you or what would you inspire others to do um, I'm random uh, I, I can think of I can think of many people who have a random act have done random acts of kindness yeah. in, in, in my situation especially when I was sick um, people visiting me in the hospital that uh, I hadn't seen them forever I didn't even know they knew I was in the hospital and you know as soon as they walked in it was just you know and all the good wishes that I got from all these all these different people it was just uh, those kind of things that keep you going fill your bucket absolutely Howard thank you for coming in thank you for having me that was cool Michelle how are things in traffic extraordinary human that is for sure thanks so much Joe